In this video, we're going to focus on solving the upper items here when we have the tasks that sometimes they tend to stick out. And what we want to do is to make sure that they are not sticking out anymore as we reduce the size of our chart. So let's try to look how we do this. So let's continue on and solve the issue. And this is part 15. So our issue was if we have values here, if we have more values, let's select here a large segment. There you are. You can see what's going on. We have the top here, this arc and the name here are sticking out and at the bottom, same story. We want to remove them. So we want to draw only if the Y axis is within the chart area range of top and bottom. That's it. So let's start to work on that. So to do this, we have to go into the plugin where we draw the arc, which is the circle with that item. And that is, if I'm not mistaken, it's here, the status, which is the status related item. So let's start to work on here. So what we need is basically the Y scale and that we have here, but within our data set here. So what I'm going to do here, putting here double enters and just create a simple if statement. So if I'm going to say here, if the Y index would be larger than top because we want to be within the range. So if it's larger than top, so it means we're going more down here and the Y get pixel for value would be smaller than bottom. If this is true, what we want to do is we want to put in all of this code in here and draw the item. If it's false, do not draw anything at all. So now we have this, let's save that. All right, refresh. And now we try again, let's put in and get some values and start to reduce the item. And as you can see here, the name is popping up here because we didn't filter yet the name, but the arcs are clearly showing the right items. So you can see here only the name yet we have to solve. So let's solve that as well. So how do we do that? Well, we do the same here, the same logic, but now we are looking for the name plugin. So where is the name area? So we have here the today line, probably it's the assigned plugin where we assign the task to a specific person. That's this one here. I guess that's in here within the data set here. We could just do it like that. And every item we're going to just run through that and just check if it's in there. So we have this one here. There you are. And probably exactly the same methodology. Let's test this. All right. Put in new tasks. There we are. And if I start to squeeze more, you can see here eventually, of course, this is starting to overlap each other, but that's a different issue because of the space we assign to it, but I will ignore that one. Then we probably have to fine tune the pixel amount, but, but that's a very complicated matter. You can control it on your own if you want to. But as you can see here, the name is not popping up here anymore on top. Even if I change this just to make sure, you can see everything works accordingly. All right, and that's basically it.